Hello and welcome to Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey as always. Thanks for joining me today. It's a big day. We're going to show you the truck for the first time. It's so right along with us. Well, on our last episode on the truck, about two weeks ago, we were at the body shop. We finished taping everything off and we were getting ready to spray the final color. We're gonna stop here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up still pictures from there. I've been documenting everything we've done. It's been a ton of work. We'll pick it back up after you see the color. All right, I know probably a bunch of you guys are mad at me wondering why in the world did you go with yellow? It's not the traditional white like the truck was originally when John Nemechek was driving it. It wasn't a black number three. What well, could have been the 16 Napa truck? Well, I'll tell you what, the reason behind it is I have done about five restorations for other people and I've never done anything for me. The reason that it is yellow because of that sign right up there. I drove for Bojangles for about six or seven years in a Winston Racing Series plus an IMCA Modifieds. And we are going to put this truck to work back for Bojangles again and go to work for a local store owner here in North Louisiana. So that's why it's yellow. And plus, I want to do something for myself for a change. So that's why it's yellow, the Bojangles yellow. Okay, now that we got the truck yellow, you see what it is. We're gonna take it back to our shop here and I'm going to document everything we have done. It, I cannot tell you how many hours I've gone in this truck uh, for the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's been kind of tough with my travel schedule for work, but we got everything done. Thank goodness I had a three day weekend for Labor Day. And we were able to finish it up and we'll pick up now with all the work that was done then we'll show you the final product.
All right, here is the truck. It's about 99.9% .9 finished. We gotta get our decals for the headlights finished up. We got a little more decal work on the back here. But I just was so excited, I wanna show it to you. We have done so much work on this truck. Uh, it's gonna have tail lights in the back plus the attenuation of the red trim down there. But the big thing was I had to pull the motor out with oil pan, had three cracks in it, we got that fixed, put fresh valve springs on the motor. The truck was just filthy. We actually took the truck apart as much as we could, repainted everything on the interior, uh, made it look really, really nice inside again. The dash, took everything out and painted. Got all new glasses, front and rear side vents everything's new in the back and the bottom uh, was just crushed down there from where somebody had missed jack posts and had jacked the whole truck up several times it took us forever to get all the body work done on that side we had a major dent on the passenger side if you go back and see my old videos, but this side here was wrinkled, had a couple of big dents. They had taken decals and cover up, uh, covered up a place down there that was that thick, about a half inch thick, a body filler they had. The exhausts were all tore up, uh, busted up, so I don't know who, how they did it, but I flipped the exhaust over, redid everything, and made them exit out the right hand side. Um, I don't want them bellering in my ear. Um, we're actually gonna, probably gonna put some boom tubes on it later, but this was so we could get it going. Um, we hand fabricated all those pipes here at the shop. Uh, pretty interesting how we did that. But uh, trying to think everything else we did. Anyway, real, real proud of it. Um, my son-in-law, Heath Thompson, did the decals. Like I said, we're all gonna get the headlight decals. They're coming from CompCal. Uh, he did all of my decals, contingency decals. My son-in-law did all the Bojangles and the number stuff, but I tell you, CompCal does a wonderful job out there on these contingency decals. He's really, really good with it. But anyway, that's where we're at. We're gonna try to get some pictures here if the sun will sit down just a little bit more. Well, guys, that wraps up another episode. Appreciate you guys joining as always. It's been a long path to get here to this point. I still got some work to do. I found I got a little oil leak somewhere. This truck has had more oil leaks. I never have driven it until today. And the front end shimmies really, really bad under braking. I don't know if we got rotors that are bad warped, must be, but it is horrible under braking. Plus, looks like the one of the rear end coolers is leaking. Uh, for the transmission rear and coolers. We've got to look at that, but always something to do. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't send me hate mail. Please understand, I love Bojangles. They've been a big part of my racing career for a long time. Looking forward to be able to take this truck to track day and plus doing some local promotion work for the Bojangles here in North Louisiana. But again, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic race rest of your day. We'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you. Take care.